men. The men that are involved in this case. Oh, them niggas. Where are the men at? Well, that's the thing. Sitting, sitting if, on if, ice. If they're workers. <laughs> them niggas. If if the men are workers, getting blazed, yo. Um, I I would think, right? For your your, I keep forgetting that I'm here. I, <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm right here, guy. Hey man, take your time, man. For the men who were involved in this, they were all they all seem to have been workers or other celebrities who had fun within the the mix of things, right? So if you're a worker, I would think you would try to maintain some sort of low keyness based on your business based on that's your job right your job is to you know you're a worker so i would think you wouldn't want to because think about it because remember because remember all, all the sex workers that they're talking about are females all right yeah uh that, that's really well, the, the, ones, the ones that said something that, tra- for, that, that he's getting charged with the trafficking yeah it's like females well, because nah, like, like nah, i said nah, i think nah, the nah, males nah. have with that, with that 120 that just came out of texas 60 of them were men 60 of them were women Wow, it's it's half and half. He did and that much damage involved. just in Texas. No, 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 no. Where they they're they're taking all the way all around taking the country. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. They have a one eight hundred number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah okay. So you know, and they said over three thousand people reached out to them, and they whittled it down to a buck a buck twenty, and that's what they're going forward with. So it's wild. I think I think it's wild that. Every time they bring up an example, it's usually always women. Well, because men, you know, men still have some that sense pride, of right? pride Too and prideful. masculinity yeah. to where, you know, they want, like I said, but also, too, as being a man, you knew you were brought there to do a job. All right. Yo, is right? this the new let's, assassination, let's... yo? Is this the new assassination? Yeah, you could either really kill somebody, assassinate them, yeah, this, or this you could, uh, or you could, could, you could, you could kill their kill, character. You could, could kill the give them. government killed Martin Luther King. You know what I mean? Um, Malcolm X got you know by whoever, but it's like black leaders, black prominent black people are being have been assassinated. I don't yeah. think you should Is put him. I don't think you shouldn't put them in the same category. But go ahead. All right, yeah, <laughs> right, 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 yeah, yeah. But yeah. but but you know right. what though? But I'm just saying like. As a whole, like, is this the new like, you know, sniping a nigga? Like, well, this is the thing. Yes, I would, I would say so. Yes, right. Mm-hmm. Um, the the problem is that the young brothers are making it really easy to do. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, what you mean by that? Well, this is the thing. You know, Diddy g- gave a whole lot to to uh, be picked through. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, it, Diddy's not doesn't sound like the guy who went to work at the office and then went home and spent his time with his children and then went back to the office and then maybe took a family vacation. He doesn't sound like that guy, right? Mm-hmm. Like, so my point is, us as black men, we first we first have to realize that we're not playing the same game. It's not the same game for us. Whether we feel we may have the money or we may have the access, either way, the game is not is not necessarily Eric, the same. I, I think Mayor Ed, Eric Adams would. Uh, you get what I'm saying? Like, for instance, bro, you are a black mayor. You already know that majority of the 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 state of New York, uh, city of you know New York, probably would rather you not be there. You know what I'm saying? I don't want I don't want to go you know 100 percent on the yeah, record, yeah. but I would say a large majority probably Especially doesn't if want you're you not going with the flow. So th- my point is, you have to know that you have to play the most squeakiest, cleanest game, because when they don't want you there. Like you said, sometimes things aren't always so black and white as far as criminal goes, right? As we're talking about, mm-hmm. these, these, some of it may so, not be as black and white. We're sa- you're saying that as a, a regular black guy, right? Yeah. We just we were here the other week and we were talking about the whole Tyreek Hill thing, right? Yeah. When these guys have been in, a cer- in certain arenas for so long, they start not to see any racism. Yeah, they don't. They don't. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? And they I'm think, not black. I'm, not I'm black. OJ. I'm OJ. Yo, bro. <laughs> okay. okay. They, they put that on him, right? That he said that. But I think that is across the board. I heard yeah. Little Wayne say he never and, and he never came across any racism in yeah, his life. Wow, wow. Right? Wow, he come from the slums in New Orleans, but he said he never came from no racism. Right? right? And I think these dudes are so insulated for so long. Yeah. They don't think that they're. They think they're way above that. Yeah, and, and they think they're on the, and they might see themselves past some of these white folks, right? Let me play devil's advocate. And, How often do you experience racism, though? 
Um, every little once in a while. Maybe a little once more. Every ten years. We're in. We're in. Probably a little more often than that. Once every fifteen years. You said more often. You don't really get. You don't really come across racism where you. I mean, we live in New York. We're up top. You know what I mean? Well, remember, mm -hmm. remember, East Coast. In, in New York, our race, uh, our racism is more. Uh, it's more up front. You get what I'm saying? Where, you know, even if you think about growing up, right? And you know, you might have had a Puerto Rican homies or whatever the case was. Mm -hmm. Like, think about how that racism flew. My man, you a my Haitian brother over there. You know what I mean? Remember being Haitian in the '90s was was, was pretty different, right? No, right, but but yeah. with even just within your community, you know, niggas try to have jokes, niggas try to, you know, whatever the case That's was. That's not racism. What's to the me? Why why is it not? Well, they say, all right, what? They would say, like, I mean, I was born here, but it was like, all right, Haitians floated on a boat over here, like came over, like on but So was how like, is that not racist? That's because it's that's, like it's a joke. Yeah. So okay, so let me ask you a question. If a, if a white person says you floated over here on the boat. Yeah, but I've never gotten that. But is it a joke though? Is it a joke? No, thing? that's why is it why is it not a joke when they say it? Because they're black. <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I got good, good. Person, the dozens. You know what I mean? Like, cause you can just say something back you, to them. You could easily get involved in some races, a racist situation. Go go to go to uh we we, we live in Long Island, mm. New York, right? Go to Brookville tonight mm. and just start driving your car around. All right, I, I, I'll, I'll I'll give you one. I'll give you one. So um, there's a restaurant that is here in East Rockaway. They also have another one in uh, Massapequa. And me and my wife and my kids, you know, realized, oh, this we, we didn't even know they were out here in Massapequa. We were looking around, trying to maybe purchase a home and things of that nature, looking in these areas. And when we walked into the restaurant, bro. Right, every single person turned fully around and gave us the look like why are you here you know now mind you us being from a pretty mixed kind of neighborhood mm -hmm. went and sat down and did what we were supposed to do right, right kind yeah. of forced the issue at that point yeah but i can't necessarily you know but the same thing happened in rockville center to me at a, at a thai restaurant i think i was like i didn't even notice it i think when we sat down my wife was like yo you see anybody looking at us i'm like Nah, nah, it ain't like nah. Pass the Hennessy, like I'll play into it. Like I don't like what the fuck. Like like we're here with them. Like I make, I probably make more than half the motherfuckers in here. Like I'm not worried about these clowns. Like yo, we here. The same way if we in the spot and a white boy walk walk in, we like yo, look at the white boy. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing. Well, like, but, but it's also across too, the board. You know, I look at these celebrities and you know, listen, it might be a great chance that they've had their 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 token times. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. So they're no little Wayne is not necessarily going to experience racism in a boardroom because why those white folks are getting paid off of his, yeah, off of his likeness. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. You know what I mean? So we're not going to treat you a certain way. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, but once again, I think these things are systematic and way bigger than, you know, we way bigger, way, way, way bigger. I'm Number definitely two. minimizing it to my own experiences. You know what I mean? And maybe I was lucky, but uh, I definitely, we, Agree that there is racism. We I'm, I'm not going to sit here and say America is not a racist if, country. If bro. you want to be naive, you know, this country, this world will show you a nigga moment mm. and you'll have one. Nigga, wake up call. Yeah, it is. It, it, especially when you, it'll hit you like a fucking gut punch mm. if you're not expecting it. If you want to really go around acting naive. Right, because right? You, you, I'm sorry, you could even have the moment where. You are the accepted black person, right? Yeah. You are the token black person yeah. in the room. But eventually you're gonna you're gonna have that moment because where guess what? They might people might feel comfortable enough to say something over your head. Yeah. Yep. That you catch and go, hold on, like, you know what I mean? Them mm -hmm. niggas, they get it the most. Yeah. They'll get like, it the most. Let me get two Hennessy for me and my brother over here. <laughs> 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 I don't drink Hennessy anymore. But <laughs> uh, that's a glass. <laughs> <laughs> that's a glass. Yes, sir. Uh, yo, so we're gonna um we're gonna stay up to date on, on this, you know what I mean? On this case, and we're gonna keep talking about it. This is yeah gonna be going along. Um uh, what's next? If you could predict something that's gonna happen next, give me a prediction of the next revelation. Cause we know we're gonna open up our phones on Monday morning. It's yeah, a new watch that's yeah, gonna yeah, happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um what's it's your newest it's, revelation? It's going to be 
it's going to be more accusations. Oh yeah. Yeah. Of yeah. We're course. definitely in accusation yeah. phase um, right now. They, I, I feel like, and this could be the conspiracy theorist in me that tin foil, tin foil. they have to, they have to pile it on to make sure he's buried enough where he can't get out. Yeah. Right. Yeah. There's no way he can escape. So it's no like, all right, you keep, you keep, <laughs> which is why I think he got to, he got to get up there and talk, bro. I, I don't know if that's going to help him per se. make it impossible for him to talk. I think the only, the only way he can get out of this situation is if he has the right person in a very compromising situation where he can probably get some type of pardon or back. get out or it's not back. that they're going to, they're going to, they they're going to, they're going to offer him or something like they that. Have that. They have to be some kind of loophole. He, he has, if he has to get out, he has to get out on the technicality. I, no, I think my prediction is, my prediction is they're going to start leaking the sex tapes. Yeah. Yeah. They're going to start leaking those freak off. Yeah. Tapes. Only a matter of time. And it's, yeah, it, it's going to start getting hairy. Another thing it's, is this, right? I understand. Let's, 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 let's stay here for just one second. Yeah. Right. And just talk about us as, as black men here. Right. Yeah. We were just talking about racism and all that stuff like that. Yeah. I think we got to watch who we protect and who we defend. Because that's tough, man, that's a tough thing. I, I don't, I don't know, man. Because, yo, if, if the dude is the curator of the devil's playground, are we? Why are we? Why are we really? Yeah, I'm just asking the question. I'm not. I'm just. I'm just asking the question. Right. Why are we protecting him? Well, to to, to speak on on Diddy specifically, um, us as '90s babies and things of that nature who grew up with the culture of this thing, we needed him. I felt like we needed him to be, because okay, take take. Listen, hold on. Need is a very strong word. I think we needed him. I think as a hip hop culture, we needed him. We needed. A, you could say that. No, but hold I on. think if it's not him, it's somebody else. No, there's no other elder statesman with his credentials, his lineage to this thing called music. Remember, Diddy has been an active member of the hip hop community since ninety. I get it. Some odd, I get it. Early, early 90s. No, I, I, I get it. We needed an r &B. We needed him. We needed one person. All right. How many people, right, have... Because for most... Start, oh, have, have started like a Diddy, right? Yeah. And yeah. they fizzed out in 10 years, right? But that's why I'm saying we needed him. Did we, we, we need that one person. For instance, we need that one... For, for other genres of music, they have their elder statesmen. Who are able? Why, why do we need him? Tell me why. I just told you. Why you you didn't really tell me why we needed him? Because he was the greatest as a salesman in hip hop. As he, a culture, he, he sold hip hop. As so as hip hop, as hip hop, we need. As hip hop, we need to see number one, the fruits of the labor. Right, we need to see someone who was able to capitalize off of a business that wasn't necessarily geared for us to win in in the first place to that level to that level i'll give you from like 92 to maybe 2000 no but right Higher, but that 2000. that 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 takes away the no, diageo deal what you mean that takes away gotta, the whole Sorak boy era you gotta go you gotta go way higher than all 2000. right we would have had another vodka to drink so what like what no, 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 no 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 we wouldn't being an ambassador showing that hip-hop can actually sell too Bro, I we needed. Him, I hear man. what you're saying. We needed him, but we don't. We don't. All right, we, we needed a liquor company. No, Did no, we no. Really need that. No, we didn't need him. Ron but we didn't need a liquor company. But, but, but. We, we. I'm just saying we needed somebody with some intelligence, right? Because listen, if before you, if you take all this off the table, if you had to have one person go in and speak, you know what I'm saying? Speak for the hip hop community. You know, I would take Diddy to get up there and and and, and talk because I knew he could handle himself intelligently. I knew he was a, you know, um, a a strong businessman, a, a person who who did care about the culture for, as far as making this music was. was I would concerned. nominate Hove over Diddy, but I I'll take yours. Well, remember, Hove Hove hasn't done enough for other people. Okay. Oh, that's why. Okay, this is what I'm trying to say when I say at up to like 2000 because. After Big died, it was all about him, and everything everything that I'm he did, he, he, he just up. he just brought in more talent just to try to push to keep him. Well, that's the thing. After after Big died, he was the biggest person on the label. 
but was it, it was it was it really was it really because we we really like yo this nigga's a dope artist a dope MC or whatever? I'm <laughs> no, it was. Sure, I'm not sure that matters. I I'm think not it, sure. I think matters. it does matter. No, I think that's you know you you I think you're focused on because you got to think about it. Other than other than Ciroc, after a certain time, he didn't really. He was uh, just attaching to other people. He kind of he kind of was floating around. You understand what I'm saying? I understand. And after Big died, and he did the the Black Robs, the G Deps, the Mark Curries, the he had a yeah he had a kind of smash. Yeah, but did he's always own. been like an oh, amplifier? Did he's always been an amplifier? Yeah, did he dirty money? Always he got the, the person pop that French pushes, you know, Rick Ross fucks your people. You know what I mean? Like he's always been an amplifier. Like he gets behind talent yeah, that's been his job and he amplifies the talent, beginning you know what i mean like, like he's always been the nigga all on the videos uh, dancing all that even uh, from the r b acts everybody on bad boy he propelled their career by being in their videos being on their their songs being on you, you know what i mean I, I think there's some people that would see the other way right but like if you stand if you stand to, with that if you though. if you stand next to a dude that's uber talented and yeah. you taking the the credit for for discovering this person yeah, it would make you seem like, yo, yeah. And, and yeah, but did, those he, of he us did, who he know, did, he did that. He those did that of us with who know. He did that with Big. He brought us. He brought us Big, right? He brought us your Craig Max, the Bigs. Well, let's start. I brought you one twelve. He brought you one twelve. No, let's go with Uptown, no, with Uptown I mean? MCA with, with the whole whole time over there with Jodeci, Mary, Mary J Blige, and everything got, like yeah. like that. It started earlier than that. Um, Christopher Williams, everybody, you know what I mean? Like, all right. It's father of Yeah, my like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. You All can't right. take it. You can't. I'll, no, 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 no. Like that doggy diamond. You can't. I'm not. This is what I'm trying to say. What I'm trying to say, if you listen to what I said, tell me what he did after 2000. He was he was bubbling himself after 2000. Well, well he had French Montana. After, after, after. He first, French, no, okay. French Montana. He stood next to Ross. So next, got Ross next when he posted. Like, We're French. A lot of We're people. French. Huh? Well, French. French is doing very well. Listen, Diamond. Listen, Diamond. Diamond record. He doesn't have to do anything else if he never wants to do anything ever again in his life. Diamond record, my nigga. All right, my nigga. <laughs> I get. All right, Diamond. French Montana is 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 gonna go down as one of the illest niggas alive. Yo, this, all right, it, okay. First of all, I fuck with French. Don't, don't I fuck with French? Don't 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 yeah, do my yeah, nigga yeah, French. Yeah. Like you can that. fuck with French, I but that don't mean French. that don't mean he's like some top tier top tier dude. Diamond song. I don't care about records. What do you mean? What else is there to care about? Even on Nipsey joint, even on Nipsey album, that that song with Puff ad libbing on, on all that, that just put Nip on that level. Like I, but like like you got it. I mean, young nigga, young. Come nigga. on, and man. That's, that, like, no, that on. no, that's that's why I feel like that's the nigga draining niggas' energy no, to keep okay, himself hot. Okay, Ron, nah, nah, Ron, nah, Ron. Nobody, nah, there's Ron. There's a big listen. difference. This 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 nigga is is he he. You can't have a barbecue without lighter fluid. He's the lighter fluid dog. Like you can have coal, if you, can, you can have the see, food. I see. You, you can see have the it that buns, way. I see you can the, have the liquor. Way. You can have everything, but without the lighter fluid, you got nothing. Okay. He's a lighter fluid. You know what I mean? You can you 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 can minimize think, it I if think, you want to. I think to. I think that's the, I think that's his gift. Of that's making, all we're making, saying. No, making no, uh, making niggas believe that he's believe? the hot one. And attaching to somebody who's really uh, talented. I, don't know, I really no, believe I, that. I don't know. Well, we got a long time for this. Yeah, yeah, I'm not. I'm not saying no. I think because because yo, there are so many dope executives, dope talented MCs that have runs for ten years. Ten years, they they pop it right, and they fall. Man, they, you can't blame him for that. You can't huh? blame him for the that. Salesman. Don't get mad he at him it. because niggas can't withstand. Okay, I believe. All right, this is what I believe, so, right? So I be, no, I, oh, no, okay. Don't get mad at him because he can withstand. I believe rain. that the reason why after the 2000s, right, the situation that he's in now and him curating all that shit, curating the vibe, that's why he was able to stay around because he was that okay. guy, okay. right? And yeah. I think that's why, yeah, let me, let me stand next to you. Let me jump in the video because I got, y'all been to my parties. This is this is how well he's well I finagle. Well, I'm staying thing. around. Let's right? not let's not forget. This is where he started. What his first job is throwing parties. Okay, you know what I'm saying. So you know let's not let's let's not act don't, like don't he was throwing he was he was throwing just he was throwing parties like for for like as a party promoter. He was a party promoter. No, I'm talking <laughs> about after the two when after he's in the he wasn't like yo I'm throwing a party to try to make money. No, that's not what he was doing. No, but what he did end up doing, he was attaching himself to a lot of people. 
And it was like, yo, he was a record executive. That's what they all Ross, do. Ross is already hot when he when he attached himself to him. Nikki was already hot. A lot of people was hot before he, and they they kept him hot. There was a time where Bad Boy was super cold. They he didn't have nothing going on at Bad Boy, but he was staying attached to other artists, right? Mm -hmm. And we could leave. You, we he was, could, we he could, was we in the move. management role. All right, cool. But I, I don't I don't see the. Uh, at that point, I don't think he was really needed. He was he was living off a legacy, right? Of uh, he was living off his legacy, but I I don't think that these these people needed. But I think you're punish you 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 you're, you're punishing him for doing what most record executives should have done. I think you're punishing him for being the one to capitalize off of what most should do. Okay, you had a Quincy Jones who had super uber success with someone like Michael Jackson. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure he's orchestrated a lot of other things, but he never forced himself to stay around. You can't you can't punish Diddy because he forced himself to stay here. He for, he he, 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 well, he, he oh, hella so, high water. So you're saying he forced himself to stay around? Hella high Hello, water. He he that's, and that's this is this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. I say he was, but I it say, was some jams that came out in the midst of that. Okay, that's fine. But what I'm saying, you said you said the word force, right? He wasn't necessary. He wasn't necessary at that point. I mean, it's the music business. You're always forcing yourself to stay here because nobody wants you here. Nobody needs you here. Listen, my my main point. You know what keeps you there? If you if you're if you're a musician, cocaine and sex if, if you if you no, if you if you have if you have talent, you putting out dope records or whatever, you're gonna stick around, right? We put out some dope records in the midst of that. Okay, though. it right. wasn't it wasn't nothing. It wasn't it wasn't nothing. Even if he had to do it himself. He had good records out. I don't. I don't think Diddy was making money last with music for a while. I'm saying Last Train to Paris was banging. Last Train to Paris. He he came up on even that. that last one. Even the red joint was like he, he came. Bad, yo, he yo. Came, he came up on Last Train to Paris in, in that press play. You crazy? He came up. He doing um. He came up. Yes, he did. Yo, yes, he. But now, did. but now, but now they put up. any. So you you think these young niggas was checking for a Diddy, a Diddy album? My nigga, when. You were you were around when Last Train to Paris and Press Play were. We was in the club. That was our time. He he stayed strong during our time. Uh, nigga okay. quiet no, 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 my nigga, don't do that. I never heard that. I never heard the album. You never heard Press never Play. Heard, Last never Train to Paris. Right. You talking about with, right. with, with the Ross joint? Listen, I, I'm going. I'm never gonna, heard the album. I'll leave it there. Okay. Check the stats, though, bro. Check this. Check the stats. It it it, may, it rang off in them, in them clubs. Yeah, I mean, um, been, been in March twenty one twelve. Nigga, Puff Daddy was real. Crazy. Thousand bottles of lube. <laughs> no, 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 I mean nothing, right? <laughs> baby oil. Yo, baby oil. Like baby oil is 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 the weird. I don't even use baby. Oil. Yeah, baby oil is weird. Yeah, baby oil is weird. I gotta be like in the super. I think I bought I baby oil like last year. I was like super ashy. I was like, yo, I need something to just like. I used to use baby oil for maybe for the clippers or some shit like that. Baby like, oil, lube, or, what, what was it? It was really just baby oil. Baby, baby oil, oil and, yeah. Baby oil and lube. and lube. Lube is one thing. Lube, lube keep the party going. I ain't mad at lube. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like lube, like yo, lube keep the party going. Okay. When, when when one person is still dancing. <laughs> but um, yeah, baby oil is for the um, baby oil is for the is is for the movies. It's just unnecessary. Yeah. Sex, sex looks better when it's shiny. Uh, that's a fact. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, why do you think that that fucking belly video, like that belly scene, rang off? Why do you think everybody like yeah. when Ter Terrell Hicks name yeah. name come up? Yeah. He be like Terrell Hicks, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, baby yeah, the baby oil had that. Yo, she was oil up. That. Yo, I baby oil on chocolate skin. Yeah. I ain't mad at a thousand dollars, thousand bottles of lube. Yo, bro. man, you know, just trying to, trying to just stay Keep right. Keep it sexy, man. Keep it sexy, 